hi guys and welcome to the Bordeaux vlog I have just got here well that's actually a lie I haven't just got here we've been here a few hours now we were up really early this morning like 4am car to the airport we all met there so I am here with Caudalie which is as you guys know one of my favorite skincare brands and they are French family run and we are literally in their vineyard and spa which is just amazing sources of Caudalie it's so beautiful here so we got up early this morning flew here landed had a little bit of um wine obviously and lunch and we've checked into the room so i'm going to show you the room because i think this is honestly the best hotel room i've ever stayed in it's just insane like the settings everything Hi! <laughs> is so beautiful i'm literally on a lake so i'm going to kind of go back in time of when we first got into the room when I say we, I'm here with Chloe, and also Jess is here, and a few other girls, and Nadia, and loads of other um, influencers, which are really nice. It's a nice little girl group, and we're just having so much fun already. So I'm going to clip into the room tour, so you can see literally where I'm standing. So I am, I don't know if you can hear the ducks, stood on this kind of like veranda, which is literally, it's super bright, the sun is out on this beautiful lake. I've just got myself together. Sorry, it's gone super bright here. I'll move in so you can see my makeup just on my makeup so i feel a lot fresher now you know when you just get off a plane you feel a bit crusty and i've got this beautiful dress on from an boutique so i will link this below i need chloe to probably do my bows for me but i need to go find her she's out shooting at the minute so she needs to check into her room um so we're gonna go do some outfits shoot some content and then we've got wine tasting which i'm so excited for love wine and being here on the vineyard it's all organic and fresh and then we're having dinner tonight and we're here for the next few days which is gonna be so lovely we've got like a facial massage all of like the pampering from cordially and they've left some beautiful products in the room as well which i always use and just this lighting alone the sun is out through the trees it's just so beautiful um so i'm just so happy to be here so i'm going to clip in now to the room tour so you can see exactly where i am so just checked in the room i am absolutely mind blown like i think this is the nicest hotel like so different um this room that i've ever stayed in before so i've just started to unpack here so this is a little bit messy um got a few things in here that i need to hang up i mean we're not here for that long but still obviously overpacked um i have a separate toilet just for myself just one in here little toilet in there um chloe's waiting for her room to be done so she's just got her stuff down here getting ready got my own little lounge and they have kindly given me a bottle of their red wine so i'm very excited to try this if it's really good i'm going to take some home and some little cakes strawberries just like so sweet of them and then this just is like the most calming serene picturesque little setting i've obviously opened the door already because just like the sound of the birds and those little duckies here i think they've moved on i'm literally on this lake and it's just so stunning i just feel so calm instantly being here and then this is the grand finale over here i will show you so you can kind of see through here you come through big speaker these big double doors massive bed just myself very excited for this cordially have not disappointed and left us some lovely treats so i didn't bring a lot of my skincare obviously because most of my skincare is cordially and we've got like the brightening moisturizer the spf this is what i've been living um with at the minute on my skin it's so good it's the 50 plus so you guys know i talk about my pigmentation a lot always wear spf 50 the brightening and obviously the beauty elixir which they actually also gave us on the plane which was such a nice little touch mm. chloe is obsessed with this she got me hooked on it and it's just amazing and then this is the moment out here i have my own big gorgeous deck in i think i'm just going to literally have the doors open the whole time because just like the sound of the whole atmosphere is so beautiful so i said we should have some like drinks out here tonight because it's a nice little setting i hope i don't walk and poop them um and then yeah it goes all the way out here there's some rooms over there i said to chloe i don't know if she might be staying in this one because i think they're sorting her out a little birthday room bless her got a little setting over here and then obviously i'll show you a lot of the ground later kind of clipped in with it to begin with there's a lot of little bird poop that i need to avoid but chloe's just getting herself together in the bathroom i have double wardrobe again and the wardrobe over there and then a double bathroom in here again some cordially products i actually use these all the time the um facial cleanser is really good i love the foamy one so not that i need it but i have a double sink shower over here fluffy nice robe towels 
and then another shower bathtub situation over here and Chloe getting ready we feel really crusty I mean <laughs> you can see the state of me we've been up since like 4 a.m. this morning yeah, it's not so I'm gonna get myself together and then show you myself properly once I'm dressed makeup and all that jazz see, this room is amazing and I did a few clips which you might have seen in the intro of the vlog of the ground I'll kind of show you around later and obviously what we get up to on this trip with the vineyard tasting I'm so excited for that so I'm gonna go and shoot some looks now with the girls get ourselves together and then I'll probably change for vineyard maybe not sure but I basically had some really bad news before I came out um, on this trip yesterday so it kind of set me back and I didn't really know if to pick the camera up and I just wanted to be real with you guys and just kind of say like sometimes you just don't know what someone is going through, don't want to get upset but yeah I had some really um, bad family news so I am just kind of taking this as kind of a bit of an escape from it um, and just to kind of deal with it and I feel like what better place because this is so peaceful, it's so calming, we've got a nice lot of free time with our schedule as well so I think I might even just sit out here and read my book for a few hours like later today and tomorrow um, but yeah I just thought I'd rather be real with you guys because it's hard sometimes to just pick up a camera and act okay all the time when sometimes you're not but being here just makes me feel so grateful so lucky and i would not be able to have these experiences without you guys here as my subscribers on instagram tiktok wherever you follow me so i just want to say thank you and i hope you enjoy this vlog i feel like it's gonna be a good one and obviously chloe will be featuring it in a lot are oh, the chloe double act so i'm very excited to just be here with the girls spend some time and just try and chill out a bit although this is obviously a work trip and we have got content to do in what other things we have going on I've got the campaign to shoot I'm going to try and take it as like a little bit of an unwind whilst I'm here as well whilst I can but yeah I thought I would just start the vlog show you around because it's just so beautiful I've literally just been sat here doing my makeup just feeling so grateful and blown away like these settings I feel like I just keep saying it but it's I'm stunning. just on the hunt now to go find Chloe and Jess sorry I'm super bright but look at these settings a beautiful lake I think that over here I think they found like a nice little French Provence vibe so I'm sure by the time this video goes up you'll see it over on my Instagram if I have shot here yes I can see them in action with a big camera out um, but it's just so nice I'm just taking it all in you can kind of see over here sorry if this is very hectic the vineyards as well so there's vineyards here and on the other side this reminds me of like Soho house vibes in London um, in London obviously but here like I think you can see one of the rooms that's on the lake here as well it's just stunning Okay, I found the girls. I see you! Here they are in action. With their cameras out. Oh, they're not dresses! Oh. <laughs> so I've told Jess I'm borrowing her dress. Yeah, we're we're basically gonna do a swap. Jess has got the gingham one, I've got the white one. I want to... You guys look glowing! <laughs> Have you got... So we've just checked out Chloe's room because she is the birthday girl on this trip. She's turning. The big 3 0. 170. <laughs> and they have just literally gone all out for her, which is just the sweetest. She's literally on the cabin over the water, which I think I showed you guys earlier when we walked past. But this room, the interiors, everything, it's just unbelievable. It's so stunning. The bed is so big, and you come up these little steps, and then this is the view looking out onto the lake. Even just like the little coffee station, the aesthetics, it's like a his and hers. Um, like bath um, area here and then the big bathtub I said to Chloe I was like I would love like a honeymoon here it's so peaceful it's so beautiful it's so stunning Chloe they've really sport you I can't get over it what's this as well is it like dates apricots do you like apricots I thought I would show you my dress now I'm in the full length mirror I'll be coming here and taking all my outfit pics this is from Anne Louise Boutique, it's beautiful. So you tie it here, it's got the bows, and then it's really kind of just like ruffled down. I've put it with my tan sandals, and then my slim bag, which has got the tan details on as well. My hair is literally like freshly washed, it's kind of like flopsy today, so I'm just gonna pretty much leave it and then blow it out later for dinner. And then it's got a little back to it, kind of like ties here at the back. And Chloe's in a matching white dress as well, but I feel like we should kind of keep this on for wine tasting. I have brought like a little waistcoat and linen trousers, not sure if to change into it, but I guess we changed our outfit already. We literally came on this trip and we were like, we're gonna take it easy, one outfit a day. 
but um i had the dress on and it did feel quite heavy with all the ruffles it is a beautiful dress which i probably think i might wear actually just for lunch tomorrow because it's like one you can rock on over a bikini but i've got my waistcoat on from zara and these trousers are amazing they're from reese but they're from the petite um range which they've got which has literally answered all of my needs because you guys know i always moan about trousers being super long on me so these are the petite linen ones and i highly recommend get them before they sell out because i feel like these are like a summer spring must have but it's actually quite hot i said to chloe I was like now i feel like i should get back into the dress it is but of course we're always boiling. matching of course chloe's in a um linen waistcoat cute little body and linen trousers Where that's, where's that where's from old zara guys very new zara 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 because you dress like me so i'm like you look absolutely amazing <laughs> with jess and nads <laughs> off to the into the vineyard. How you'd imagine a vineyard. <laughs> what does she say? It doesn't even make sense. I'm very natural at this. It's beautiful, we're all vlogging. <laughs> hey Jess. So we were um, just discussing how Jess knows exactly my posting time on Instagram. <laughs> I was like, you post at five o'clock. Sometimes yeah. in the morning, yeah, seven thirty. <laughs> very in sync. Oh but yeah, it feels so surreal being here. It's so nice. We're gonna go and do some wine tasting now. I mean, what better afternoon? breakfast to the room we went for dinner last night and I was just so tired and with everything going on I just came back had some room service and crashed um but broke up this morning feeling fresh just had a croissant and to at this lovely view it's a little bit cloudy today so I'm hoping the sun does come out um at some point so we can like sit and sunbathe but it's just so nice like here in the ducks like all night you could hear all the little creatures on the lake it was just so cute so I'm just having some breakfast now and then I'm going to get myself together and I have my massage and facial this morning which I am so excited for. I'm going to quickly do my skincare but I'm not going to do much only because I am going for a facial and a massage this morning so it seems a bit pointless doing a lot of skincare when I'm going to get my facial. So just to quickly show you what I do use and I also have like 10 minutes I've got the Vino Clean. This is the instant foam and cleanser, which I think I showed you yesterday. I have this at home as well, and I love it. I love a foam and cleanser. It just feels so nice on your skin, and it just doesn't dry it out as well. I'm also looking very puffy this morning, and I didn't bring my eyes rollers. I actually have the cordially ones, and I use them all the time. Um, but I left them in the freezer. And now I'm going in with the glycolic essence and this is like a great hydrating i'm gonna say like a toner before anything and this is always such a must-have before you put on 
any other product it just really helps to hydrate your skin and i just feel like my face is just so puffy this morning um probably from the wine but i don't have any cotton pads i'm literally just using some tissue to put this on instantly just feels so refreshing on your skin and then my favorite of all cannot live without this product i go on about it all the time the radiant serum especially if you have dark spots like for me with pigmentation it's a game changer so putting a little bit of that on try and kind of like massage this puffiness out of my face as well if there's one product i could recommend actually no i'm going to say there's going to be a few but if there's like one holy grail product i can recommend from cordley it is this one and i suggest everyone has it in their skincare i use it morning and night it is so good i also brought this with me it's the brightening eye cream which my eyes definitely need this morning so i'm going to put a little bit of that underneath instant brightening moisturizer which also goes along with the radiant serum this is a nice fresh one so just using the back of this so I don't waste the product and down my neck but like I said I am getting a facial so I don't really want to go and put loads on just kind of use my, my usual skincare and then of course can't go anywhere without SPF this is the new Cordley one it's the 50 plus and I love this one because it's really thin and lightweight as you can see whereas I always use the other one and it is good but it's a little bit thicker whereas this is so nice and lightweight on your skin even if it's a cloudy day like today I am putting it on I never go out of the house without my SPF it is so vital I feel like as I've got older and dealing with pigmentation I've just learned this so much now and especially when hopefully the sun does come out later I want to keep reapplying it so I've got my SPF on I'm done I'm going to do a bit of quick beauty elixir over the top get myself together and go for my facial and massage which is much needed right now So I got back from the facial, the massage, had such a lovely morning. I like full on snoozed, it was so nice. I feel like this eye is looking a little bit puffy because I was getting upset last night. It looks like I'm naked, but I've got my swimsuit and these trousers on. I've just got back from the spa and being around the pool. This little set is from Mango. I'll put a little clip in so you can see it together because it's really cute. I got it when I was in Chloe's little cabin, but I've just come back to mine now. I'm going to get myself together, although I really don't want to put makeup on after the facial. It was just so good. It was using the Vino Clean products, and they really target, like I was saying before, like the dark spots, pigmentation. gives you a nice shine, but I've just quickly um, put a little bit of primer on my face. I'm going to put just a little bit, like no makeup, makeup look, if that makes sense just for when we go for lunch in a little bit. And then I think we've got a lot of downtime, which would be nice. I think we're gonna go on the bikes, go by the pool, fight in the jacuzzi, and just chill out for the rest of the day, hopefully. And I wanna get stuck into my book, although I do have emails and stuff to do, but I'm just trying to take a little bit of time for myself on this trip. So I will check in when I look a little bit better than I do now. Okay, I got ready super fast. I basically don't have an adapter. This is the first time I've come away and I haven't brought a travel adapter. So I can't do anything with my hair. I've literally just had to kind of like pin it back a little bit. Um, go all natural. I've done my makeup. Just use the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter on my eyes. Just as like a nice little gold. Put a little bit of gloss on. I've just got my <clears throat> t-shirt. I don't have a full length mirror to show you my outfit. So this is how it's going to have to be. T-shirt is Arquette. This blazer is Naked. Shorts are from Silks and Stars, my friend's brand. These are gorgeous. They fit so nice. I love these. And then I think I'm going to go with my white YSL hobo bag. I have also brought away with me her first trip, the Lady Dior. Very excited about that. Um, I actually wore her last night for dinner, but I didn't get to show you guys my outfit because we were just kind of like rushing around. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just go quickly with the YSL. Put on my sandals, I'm going to go with my Chanel ones, which are in here. 
got my trainers and sandals. I'll go with these. Some of my products like spilt on them in the case, so I'm gonna have to get them clean when I get back. And this is the lock. I don't really have a full length mirror, like I said, to show you properly. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Like cheers, ladies. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Basically, I want a photo and Chloe won't, Chloe won't go past this talk. It's growling her up. Come on. It'll be cute here. She's Okay, Laika was not having me, okay? He was annoyed at me. Laika is the house dog, I feel like. Yeah, and Laika's decided it's a no from him to me. Oh, so he's had enough. He's just chilling, he got annoyed at me. Fair. Okay, okay this is the spot. <laughs> yeah, it's the spot. No, he made it, he made it to this be here. <laughs> and then... I keep forgetting to vlog on this trip, but I keep getting bugs on me as well. But every time I pick up the camera, you can just see this beautiful scent behind me. And it's honestly just everywhere so pretty. But we've just finished having lunch, which was really nice, catching up with all the girls. And I'm just quickly running back to my room now to get my phone, because Bex kindly lent me her adapter. So I got some like juice on my phone and everything. Gonna go meet Chloe and Jess, and I think Nadia. Shoot some content. I think we're gonna spend the rest of like the afternoon in the spa, which will be quite nice, just chilling out. And then we've got dinner tonight, but everyone keeps asking me about this blazer, and I love it. I feel like I was kind of saving it for this trip. And I kind of match him with the surroundings of all the greenery everywhere. But I did go with a size extra, I think it was 36. So I went a little bit extra with it. Um, you guys know I always go up one size in my blazers if you followed all my vlogs. Just feel like we haven't really had much time to chill out. We have had the time, but because when you're away on these trips, you just feel guilty for not working and not getting all the content. You guys even see me? No. But yeah, we're going to have the afternoon shooting. Hopefully the rest of the afternoon chilling. Here we go, I'm in. Going to this lovely big hallway. Just here. And then into my cute little room. My room is called the Cannon. I think it's actually open already, there we go. Just sat on my veranda, like literally just chilling by myself. A glass of wine, um, brought this from lunch. And I'm just waiting for Nads now, because I think we're gonna get ourselves together, get a bikini on, and just go sit by the pool for a bit, because the sun's kind of like coming in out, it's a little bit cloudy, and maybe just chill out for a few hours this afternoon before dinner. But I just have to like, take a second and think, is this seriously what I'm doing? I'm ignoring all my emails right now, which I need to be doing, and all my work, but I'm just taking a second for myself. So, cheers for that. Let's just appreciate my state right now. I'm just like, I don't want to take off my full makeup. So I just took off my eye makeup with, of course, Enemies Collecting Bob. And I'm just going in now to do it. I'm not going to lie, I did try and do individual, can't remember that, individual lashes, which is just not for me. I don't feel like ever in my life, lashes have ever worked on me. Like they just don't stick stresses me out and I can't do it. So I'm saying no to the lashes and I'm just gonna go au natural like I pretty much do every single time. And I'm actually loving at the minute using, definitely just slip them, the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Dream Light. It's beautiful, this is the new highlighter but I've been using it on my eyes. If I come in close a little bit, you can kind of see it's like a golden shimmer. So tonight is all white glam night, and I'm like, is there a better time to go all out? It's Chloe's 30th birthday tomorrow, I feel like we're gonna be celebrating it. So I was like, I'm gonna do a little bit of glam with my eyes, but to be honest, I never really do it much anyway, because I never feel like it suits me. I like to keep it quite simple and minimal, so I'm just putting a little bit of gold, which I basically did earlier. And then I think I'll do a little bit of like a smoke, eyeliner, mascara, and the girls are good and the rest is pretty much stayed. You can see the highlight that I put on earlier, it's literally stayed on. But I've just been FaceTime my sister, FaceTime my mum, because I feel really apart from them at the minute because they are both 
in Spain and with everything going on, I just feel like I wanted to talk to them. So sometimes it's nice just to have a bit of like a catch up. I've got my tea, which I'm pretty much finished now. But it was really nice. Me and the girls spent the rest of the afternoon literally just in the hot tub. Just soaking up, chatting. But when I say soaking up, I've literally soaked all my tan off. Um, I did the Saint Tropez tan before I come. And you guys know I'm very like avid users of tan lux. But I ran out. And I do love Saint Tropez. Like I've been using it since I was like, I think like 15, 16. So I used that and it was a really good tan. However, anytime you kind of go in a pool or like a hot tub, it is going to soak off. And it's all white glam tonight. So I was like, the worst night for it because you need to look tan. But anyway, I've done a nice little gold shimmery base. I'm now going to go in with this palette, which is the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. And I feel like I show this every single time, but I just love the colours in this. It's like a nice kind of like white pink gold brown and i'm just gonna do like a really simple eye tonight and just smoke it out a little bit and then do a liner but i think i'm actually going to be ready early for once in my life so i might actually just sit on the little veranda that i've got because i feel like i haven't made much use of it and kind of see now the gold shimmer i've gone for Look at this highlight. I cannot recommend the new Charlotte Tilbury one. Oh, and also, did I show you guys? I'm not sure if I did. I got the Chanel bronzer from the airport. And I have been trying to get my hands on this little baby for ages. And it's been sold out everywhere. This is the lighter shade. However, they are bringing out a new shade, which is in between. I think it's the start of May. Which, after seeing this, it is the best bronzer I think I've ever used. It just gives, like, such a nice glowy highlight look like let's excuse my hair oh smash the box but just this bronzer alone it does wonders girls so i cannot recommend this bronzer i've been trying to get my hands on it and they had it a duty free so i was very happy so i don't know when i actually last vlogged but i'm all now ready and i'm wearing a dress i wouldn't normally wear it's kind of like tight fitted so it's sara number very very roughly got my blazer over the top i literally had to quickly do my hair with the this just sums up <laughs> with the dyson air wrap because i didn't bring anything else with me and i'm just with nads having a glass of champs did you have a glass oh, no. um and we're just waiting for close to get a little pics but this little setting is so beautiful they've hired out this lovely little room we're having a white glam night it's chloe's birthday and i'll quickly show you out actually my outfit in the mirror before i start eating and forget this is the dress it's from zara and then i've just put the blazer over the top so i've got all the ruffles going on here heels are gold i've got my ysl hobo bag quickly did my makeup which you guys saw very gold very glowy and this is the look this morning we had a few champagnes last night i feel like every time i picked up the camera i'm like i don't know what i last videoed but i think after dinner me and chloe it hit midnight and it was her birthday i literally look crazy talking to you guys like this and we went back to her room and we were literally like little kids jumping around on the bed um just screaming happy birthday and singing it to <laughs> i think it was stevie wonder who knows after a few champagnes so i felt a little bit fragile this morning oh, i thought i was gonna fall then but i feel good now i've got up had a shower put a face mask on i'm gonna do my morning skincare get myself together and i'm gonna go over to chloe's little boudoir 
and take her a birthday present and have breakfast together with Jess as well, which would be nice. And then we're going to do some content this morning before we check out. And then I think we're just going to chill around the spa after that. It's just been so lovely here. Like just waking up, hearing like the frogs, the birds. And like I woke up this morning, there was a beaver in my lake. I don't think I've ever seen a beaver before. I think I'll insert a clip here so you can see. It was so cute. Just all the nature. I just would love to come out here again and just really switch off. It's just so nice. Feels like I'm in like a Disney film, like waking up and it's just like Hansel and Gretel vibes and all these creatures everywhere. It's lovely. So I'm going to stop chatting, get myself together. So I might just put you on a time lapse of doing my skincare this morning, of course, all my cordly favourites, and then do my makeup. I've got myself together I've just slipped my hair back today because I haven't brought like my shampoo and stuff and I just thought it's three days old now it needs to be slipped back and I've got this gorgeous top on from Reese I love this I was recently come in and I do have the green trousers and blazers but I couldn't get it tailored in time I can't show you but maybe if you can see kind of like through the reflection it's got it's really hard to show you on camera like a lovely open back Hopefully I'll be able to get a picture or video in this and I'll put it on the screen if so, so you can see it. And I've just paired it with these like silky um, trousers from Zara. These are a size small. I feel like I do need an extra small. Just gonna wear my tan sandals, my Celine bag. Put my Celine at Sunny's on. We were gonna do breakfast at Chloe's, but we've decided we're gonna go and go actually in the restaurant and do the buffet, which actually goes in like 10 minutes. So I need to be quick. But I'm gonna go take her a present. I got her, I didn't under here. Oh. So she didn't know from Jo Malone and they've wrapped it really cute So if you go to the one on Regent Street, they can do all personalization for you. So I'm gonna take that with me and Go have some breakfast. It's the birthday girl Happy birthday to you Happy birthday. Look how fabulous she is in her pajamas. These are her then Nadima Robbie I've got these ones as well and she went to breakfast in them Love it. In the most like quiet, chic countryside. I know. Place, we're all rocking around, and everyone here is like. <laughs> Ready for the airport, and I'm like. Are you wearing that to the airport? No. Oh. Could you imagine? It is your thirty. If you should. Like, no, no, no. But okay. Open your prezi. Look how I got me. She <laughs> travels all the way here with this. To be fair, it's not as squishy as I, it, I put it in the bag. Put I kept it in the bag purposely, so then the rest were didn't. Through. I know. Angel. I would have been like weight limit now. That's why, I took, that's why I had the bigger case, because I thought, oh. yeah, but obviously I couldn't say anything. Do you want to sit? You look... Sorry, I'm too excited. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm, I'm putting you under pressure. Mm -hmm. First of all, this smells ace. Yeah. Can you smell the back? They, yeah, they scented it. I was about to say... <sighs> she went all out. That is incredible. Oh, cute, you've got the ribbon! Oh, How cute. God, oh, boy, this is so cute. I know. We're putting everyone to shame. <laughs> This is beautiful. I'm honest, I'm gonna keep this ribbon. It's cute, it's isn't it? I thought you could keep it. Precious. Yeah. Wear it in my hair today. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Just in case no one knew it was your birthday. I know. Jim Malone unboxing, bitch. <gasps> Stop. Oh, I love this. And look at the top. So if you can take that little sticker bit off, it goes back on. Oh, it's engraved. That's so, cute. so you can keep it. You little angel. Once it's um, burnt through, you can keep the thing then. Why are you so sweet? Do you not just love these? It's yeah. Like, put it beside it. Like. Yeah, a little aesthetic, you know. You are such a precious bob. I think you so oh, it's okay. much. It's okay. You're so good to me. <laughs> I love peony and blush, so it's my favourite. Secret home fragrance. Mm. Chloe's going in to this the is haunted. Birthday, dear. She's making yeah, I did say for my birthday, this is my one true wish. Right. Hi, Mr. Bear. When hope you don't mind. Room, we thought this was room, I honestly like, thought this is where I was staying. I was like, fair. Oh, it's like um, got furniture and stuff in here. It's like a little doll's house. That's where creepy haunted dolls live. It's sure. Very creepy. I mean, it's even got a little fire pit thing. I do feel like this is what horror movies are made of. Honestly, it's got that smell. You know, like that like musty, musty ancient, musty smell. Musty ancient. Oh no, there's a freaky bed. Yeah, Absolutely well, not. It's like a fire burner. I mean, I've seen the creepy bed. I can't believe I slept with this behind me. Thank God I'm not sitting here tonight. <laughs> 